we're in Uma Cafe on the busy streets of Munar and we came up with a cool challenge. I think what we're going to do is, what, eight different photographic techniques. Yeah. Put them in a hat. Put them in our bike helmet. Put them in, the, in our bike helmet. And, and then, then pick them out yeah. one by one. So we'll have four techniques each. And then we're just going to go into the streets and there's some kind of market stalls and stuff. And we've got to use those four yeah. techniques each. Right, we've left the bakery. Time to start the challenge. My four things are freestyle, colours, contrast, and abstract. This is a really fun challenge. We've not done anything like this before, but it really makes you think hard. It's really good fun. Okay, we've got a little market area here, I think. Can I take a photo? <laughs> I found another flower seller. He's got a blue background, the yellow flowers in the foreground. Those two colours work really well together. And then we've got him kind of picking up the flowers, packaging them up for someone. So it's based around colours, but we've also got some life. That's one of them ticked off. Now I need to work on the other three. Right, that is colours ticked off. I've now got abstract, contrast and freestyle. Hi. Uh, this is ridiculously difficult. I think the hardest thing is just it's so cluttered. And I've got I've kind of got my idea for contrast and my idea for abstract, but it's just taking the shots without them being just a complete and utter mess. I'm gonna keep searching, I'm not gonna give up. Okay. I'm wondering if for abstract I could do maybe a reflection of something in something else. I want some context of where we are, so maybe a tuk-tuk moving reflected in something. I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm going to just keep looking around, but that's what I've got in my mind at the moment. I think I've worked out my abstract shot. I'm not entirely sure it's going to work, but I'm going to do it anyway. I didn't want this abstract shot to be just anything that could have been taken anywhere. I want it to be relevant to here. So I'm going to use this dirty back windscreen of this tuk-tuk. And I'm going to wait until maybe a, a yellow truck like that one or uh, maybe a moped goes past. And you can just about make out that in there. But it's not a perfect reflection. So you get this kind of hazy, almost rough painterly look that is abstract so let's see just got to wait for the right subject now so i know i said i was looking for one thing to go past but i've i've been watching things through this <laughs> i've been watching stuff through this back windshield for a few minutes now and uh, as as weird as i feel um i think what i think what works is when a person is really close so you've got this you can definitely tell what that is and in the background you've just got this kind of street that's slightly blurry. I don't know, let's, I'm gonna keep trying. I want someone, someone to walk just past me here who's a bit colorful. And more important than colorful is shape because it, this is already just a very meh shot. There's just bleh. And I need someone with a bit of shape so there's some composition. As ridiculous as I felt face planting a tuk-tuk, I think I might have actually got Quite a cool kind of abstract street scene. I don't know, those are the kind of ones that you just kind of have no idea about. I've got no idea if I got a good shot. Just gotta to wait to get them on the computer and have a look later. I'm actually quite excited about that. And I never would have tried that if it wasn't for this challenge. This is really good. So I've got two left, contrast and freestyle. Right, this background just here is, I mean, it's perfect for my colour, colour challenge. So, I'm going to pop on my 24-70 with a polarizer to bring out all the colours. And I'm going to wait for something to happen in the foreground, someone to walk past it. Ideally in an orange dress, but 
Who knows? Okay, these ladies walking past in their colourful dresses are absolutely perfect subject. That couldn't have been better if you tried. That is exactly what I wanted. So the fact that they were actually walking one behind each other as well means each of them are in there in between the vertical sections. Really pleased with this. I think this is going to be my freestyle shot, although it's a lot about the colours. Actually, really, it's more about the composition. It's about having a really graphic background and then the positioning of the two people in the foreground. Freestyle completed. Oh, I'm really happy with that. I could actually stay here all day, but we've only got a limited amount of time, so I'm going to keep going, and my final shot is contrast. As these women are arriving, they seem to say a prayer at one of these lower bits, and then they walk up to the steps to the very top, and at that point, they've still got the light on their back on these really colourful dresses, and behind is completely shaded. So you've got a really good contrast there. That's why it fits the brief. So I'm just going to wait for these ladies to go up to the top and I'll take my shot. I'm done. So yeah, I really enjoyed that. And John, now it's your turn. Over to you. Right, it's my turn. And my four are, I need to get a portrait. I need to have something with movement in it. That shouldn't be too hard since this place is pretty chaotic. Uh, black and white image, love a black and white, and then F8, which I'm looking forward to, but I'm not really looking forward to it at the same time. I think that is probably going to be the hardest one. <sighs> okay, here we go. Let's go down into the town and destroy this challenge. Come on. Let's go into the most cluttered part of the town, shall we? <laughs> to make it even harder for ourselves. Now we've got into the town, I think it's probably a bit more sensible to, uh, to concentrate on movement because it's just so chaotic. I'm bound to find some movement somewhere. So I'm going to switch my camera onto S mode, which is shutter speed priority, and try and use a slow shutter speed to try and emphasize that movement, give it a bit of energy. So I just need to find the right subject. Okay, I think I've got an idea now. I want to get a tuk-tuk in slow shutter speed going past a group of tuk-tuks. Like that. But on the other side, so... I need to go over there. Actually, I think I've had a better idea. Instead of tracking the tuk-tuk coming towards me, I might try and leave it completely still and try and make the movement of the cars going past or the people going past with a slightly slow shutter speed. Okay, let's try. Okay, so I'm gonna lean on this guy's scooter in order to try and keep the image itself as sharp as possible. The movement is actually coming from the vehicles going in and out of the frame. So I've just attached an ND to the front of my lens in order to trick the camera into thinking it's a bit darker, so therefore I can get a slower shutter speed and therefore I can get more movement to the image. Okay, I'm using about a tenth of a second to try and enhance the movement going from left to right in my frame. But it also means that I have to keep really steady so I don't blur the entire thing. Basically what I'm trying to do is get enough movement in, but also not just blur the scene completely. So it needs to have some static objects in it and also some blurriness. And just getting that right amount is proving Quite difficult, but I think I've got one. I've been here for about five minutes and I'm testing different subjects and different shutter speeds. Right, that is, that's movement done. Onwards, what am I gonna do next? Okay, I've got three more to go. And instead of just hoping I'm gonna come across a scene, that's a massive B. 
Um, I'm going to try and go for a black and white shot. Therefore, I can concentrate on trying to find a composition that suits a black and white image. Black and white, eh? Okay, I'm procrastinating a bit here because I've seen someone above me who would be a potential black and white portrait. He's got a white beard, quite dark skin. I think this could be quite good. Really old, he's, so he's got all the texture of his skin. Hopefully he'll say yes to being portraited. Is portraited with a, a bird? Reckon you can portrait someone? Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna portrait him. Let's have a gander, shall we? I'm just gonna wait until he's stopped serving because I don't wanna get in his way when he's trading. It's got a cool background as well. It's gonna be all rendered out of focus, but it's like old school shelves. Please. Hello. Can I take a photo? Yes. yes. yes? Okay. That's nice. Just look over here. That's good. And one at me. One more. Really good. Thank you. Can I see? Nice. Nice. Can I take one more? One more? Can I go close? Ready? Ready? That's good. That's good. Oh, you're beautiful. <laughs> Look at this one. <laughs> That's good, right? Thank you. Thank you. Okay, that worked out quite well. He's really, really nice. He's really, really smiley. And a little trick is to photograph him how you would usually. I give him a bit of a direction because people always want a bit of a direction, otherwise they just sort of sit there. So I asked him to look out into the light. That would be quite a nice one, but I also, once I'd photographed him, he then, I'd showed him the photograph, then he smiled, and then I took another photograph of him while he was genuinely smiling. So I think I got quite a good one there. Did you, did you actually notice that while you were photographing him, you called him beautiful? He's a beautiful man. He's a beautiful man. No, I was, literally, if you can say anything at all, apart from silence, just say it. If anything that comes out of your mind, because it puts people at ease. So. I'll think of anything to say, something, what first thing that comes out of my mouth, that's going to be what I'm going to say. As long as it doesn't offend him, then I think it's worth doing. Right, next. Okay, now I've done my movement, I've done my black and white all portrait and now I need to get an F8 shot and F8 means obviously I'm going to have everything in focus so with F8 usually it means you have to try and get figures from the front to the back of your image all spaced out all organized in an unorganized way so I'm going to attempt to do it here in a back street back street back street when everyone's looking at us so I might just ask if I can take some photos I think it'd be easier Look, these guys are literally going to the butcher. Imagine someone coming to the butchers with you and then photographing you. It's mental. And then just staying there like a weirdo and being filmed. I feel quite awkward at the moment, but I'm going to determine to get this shot. Although the person I don't think has any, got any customers anymore. Hello. It's okay, so take some photos? Thank you, thank you, hello. Matt, you're in the way. Duck. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Okay, so I don't know if I got the right shot there. I tried a few compositions, but having to be on F8 means I can't throw anything out of focus, so I had to really be careful about my background. Um, I'm not sure I got it. Right, 50 mil for my portrait, I reckon. Really struggling here. Right. Black and white. Or portrait. Oh, hot. Wow. It is warm. Perfect. Can I see? Ready? That's good. 
Just like that. That's good. Yeah, yeah. That's good. Nice. Is that good? Good. Nice. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye bye. Okay. That's me done, I think. God, it's absolutely knackered. I'm boiling and I'm starving. I think we should go and have some lunch. That was seriously hard, especially the F8 one. I'm absolutely knackered. Eat, should we just eat something?